Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kev Tech here, bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over how to get Microsoft Office 365 for free for 90 days using Developer Sandbox. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, do desktop support videos, talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over how to get an E5 license for Sandbox subscription. If you guys don't know about this, um, maybe you maybe have watched in another YouTube channel, maybe, or another YouTube video, but there is a way to get Office 365 for free for 90 days, and you get 25 user licenses. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, and I'm gonna just, just show you how it works, okay? So let me share my screen with you and show you how that works. Give me a second. So uh, I'm gonna do screen three. So I'm right over here, I'll show you. So this is something that I, I I knew about, but I never made a video on it. So this is set up Microsoft Office 365 Developer Sandbox. It allows you to have 25 user licenses and it lasts for 90 days. And it's free to use for development purposes, coding solutions only. So you're like, Kev, what does that even mean? So you have to actually log in and create an account. So where do you go? And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the link below in the description so you guys can go ahead and play around with it. So what you need is you need to click here. It's called the dev program. You click join now, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to click join now and I'm going to open it up real quick. I already logged in. You have to you have to have an, a, a Microsoft account um, to log in, obviously. So just just make a make a generic random account and then you should be good to go after that. All right. So in here, obviously, you just you just put the country you're from, which is the United States. I'm going to I'm going to fill this out real quick. Shouldn't take that long. Um, company name. Mine is Captech IT support. KevTech, I just call it KevTech, that's fine. Uh, English, and then see it says here like developer program. And if you click on terms and conditions, it tells you like what, what, what's it for? It's, it's, it's a developer, op it's a developer um, app that you could use for free, which I, I didn't know about this. I, I seen videos on it, but I, 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 I'm like, let me just make a video on it. Cause some people are gonna ask me about this. So now I'm gonna hit accept. This is if you wanna be part of the tips and offers program, you can, if you want to hit next, right? And it tells you like, what is your primary focus as a developer? And you want application, personal, personal projects, I'm hit next. Then it says here, like, like office development, are you interested? What resources are you interested in? Me, I'm interested in Outlook, and I'm interested in I used to just put office add-in, you hit save. And then when you log in, you'll see it's just gonna create your account. So when you log in, you're in this now. You're you're actually logged in hundred percent, right? So now you have all the add-ins, you have all this stuff here, like, yeah, this is a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, it is. It's a lot of stuff. But you're the, you're a developer now, so go to my dashboard, right? And then these are licenses you could get up. So you said set up E5 subscription, right? And then when you set up an E5 subscription, you actually can can um, get a license. So and you're like, what? Well, what does that even do? So E5 subscription with the latest apps and applications. It gives you mobile security, Azure AD, and it gives you Office 365. So I don't know if I should set one up because it says you create your domain and everything. I already I already have an Office 365 license uh, for just for the, the fun of setting up licenses. I guess I'll create a username. So I'm going to do Kevin Polinario. That's my name. You guys don't know. That's my name. Um, I'm going to do KevTech. KevTech, just call it KevTech. And just make a generic password. Uh, this is KevTech's already taken. Let's just do IT. Let's see if that works. It says that's taken. Jesus. All right, here we go. All right, good. So do that. Uh, once we put a phone number in there, so I'll put a phone number in there. Now. Obviously, I, I will, I will, um, I will block this or clear this out so you guys don't know what my phone number is. <laughs> and you guys probably already know what my number is just by, just by being on the other YouTube videos. But we're gonna set this up real quick, and it's gonna be one, one five. Three, three, six, and set up. And this is setting up your subscription. And I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over like things you could do on this. By the way, it's not just gonna be. Make, this is not like a one-off video. If that makes sense, it's gonna be a bunch of videos with me talking about this and what you could do with this subscription and stuff like that. A reason why I wanted to go over this. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. The reason why I wanted to go over this is because a lot of people want a license of Office 365. And you gotta pay for it. And be like, damn, Kev, I gotta pay for this, man. This sucks. This really, I gotta pay. No, there's a free way to do it, legal way, <laughs> free legal way to do it. I'm showing you today how to do it. Okay, 
So let me share my screen again. Give me a second. Like, Kev, I didn't know you could do that. Well, you can. So yeah, it says here, see? It expires November November 29th, 2020, 2021. It's good for 90 days or 92 days, rather. So this is why I tell people you should, you know, just go online and do your own research before you, you assume anything, right? Copy that, new user. So it says here, add 16 functional users where users and mailboxes, including mail, photo for each user. You need to sign on your administrator account. So if they're logging with this account, it's actually giving me the option, it's giving me the copy option here. I'm trying to copy and paste, right? Just go there, you plug that in, you hit next. Um, just log in. And there we go. And these are all the licenses you could get for free. So like I said, it's good for 90 days. Um, this is for someone that's brand new to help desk or IT support. That's the reason why I tell people that, that you need to do your research. You need to do your homework because there are so many things you could do that it's literally like it's, it's in the palm of your hands. Technology is there for you, right? Um, can I, can I, should I do that? Uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that. I don't want to do that, but yeah, it's telling me to do that. So I'm going to do that. All right. Just give it a second. So now it's installing, setting up the user, setting up the mailboxes. Just give it a second. Yeah, so if you click on subscription here, like you, you could, you, you see, right? So I'm logged in now as the other account. You see, you have all these licenses now. It's probably not going to let me log in because it's, it's still probably creating the account. So we'll see. We'll see if it lets me log in. So you have all this stuff over here. Um, Okay, it's logged in as me now. Okay, good. That makes sense. Active users, let's see. Okay, it's logged in as developer without without audio. Okay, good. And let's see if it lets me go into exchange. Because before I could give me an error message, it shouldn't be doing that. So let's see if it's okay. Yeah, it worked. There we go. So you had that you had to log into this and create the create the mailboxes and everything. Awesome. That's not so bad. That's pretty cool. And it's good for 90 days. So you guys see 92 days. I didn't make this up. This is not like this is not like uh uh you know like shady stuff. This is not like I'm selling you something. You know this is not this is real. This is real. Get a license. Like what I just did right now. I created the password. I created the account. I logged in with users. I created the user mailbox, and then I and now you could just practice here. So you could just go in here, um, practice exchange, practice mailboxes, and practice stuff for ninety days, ninety two days. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. There's all this other stuff. I'm going to go over this stuff, obviously. Not today, because the video will be too long if I do that. I don't want to bore you to death. So that's it. That's pretty much it. And you get this absolutely free, 90 days, and you can mess with it. And you don't have to pay anything. So now you can just cancel your subscription when you're done. So people don't know about this. Some people may know about it. Some people may not. But I hope this helps you out. I hope, if, I hope this helps somebody out that's brand new to IT that's trying to get a license for Office 365 and doesn't have money to buy it or pay for it, this is the easiest way to do it. It's something that I have never made a video on and I want to, I want to help you out. Obviously, I'm here to help you out. So something new, you learn something new every day. I hope this helps you out, okay? With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and I hope you guys take care, okay? Peace, bye.